Can you take off your hat for me? Uh, take it off me. Yeah, yeah, just take it off real quick. Like, okay, so the hair, right, on the head says, like, kind of black, but then the arms, it says Arab, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no cap, it says Arab. The beard kind of says Arab, Middle Eastern. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. Hi, my name is Nikki. My name is Toby. How you doing? I'm a little nervous. I'm very competitive, so. What do you do for a living? I'm a teacher to little gremlins. <laughs> I'm like telling people my business, man. You know what I'm saying? Where I work and stuff. I don't put oh, that well, out no, there. Not even like a oh. like an industry that you work. For. Oh, okay. Um, uh, travel. I am an immigration lawyer. As an immigration lawyer, mm -hmm. do you work with people of a lot of different ethnicities? Absolutely, yeah. It's one of the best parts of my job. Today you're going to be guessing strangers' ethnicity. Yeah. I mean, I try not to stereotype people, but at the same time, like, you know, there are some things that are pretty, uh, you know, um, obvious when you see them. I'm going to go with my instinct. Probably going to ask a lot about food, how they grew up. Do they take their shoes off when they go inside a house? Are you nervous? Yes. I'm just going to try my best based on what I've seen in these 25 years on Earth. <laughs> you ready for the line? You ready yes, to meet the line? I am. OK. I feel so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Nikki. Nice to meet you guys. Hello. Nikki is an uh, immigration lawyer, so she's going to get everyone right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Nikki. Nice yes, to meet no, you. Nice to meet outfit. you. Outfit, so cute. Okay. Nikki, tell me what you see right away. I see that you're stunning. You seem very sweet. Thank you. Thank you. I'm getting Middle Eastern. Okay. I'm Middle Eastern, okay. so that was the one promise I made that I should be able to get everyone's Middle Eastern, right? Okay. Like her eye color is just is so gorgeous. Like green, yellow, brown all together. That's like <laughs> super crazy. Gorgeous um, isn't an ethnicity. <laughs> Yesna makes me think Hispanic. I see some some tones in her skin, like little red tones in her skin. How do you grow up? Like, how's your parents like whenever you grow up? Yeah, um, definitely a lot more strict. Do you take your shoes off whenever you get inside the house? Of course, yes. Hmm. Were you born in the U.S.? I was not. Was it a legal move? That's a very good question, actually. Um, it was legal. Okay, yes. Yes. it was a legal move. Yes. Your family speak any other language besides English? Yeah. Is that language something that could possibly be taught in American schools? No. Not taught in American schools. Say my hair looks nice. It sounds very similar to Farsi. Can I just guess now? I kind of have an idea. Yeah. Yemen. I know somebody, like I actually went to school with somebody from Yemen, and I feel like her name is possibly Yemeni. Am I correct? No. Damn. Am I close? Not really. <laughs> Damn. I'm thinking India. <laughs> All the way. Say, I'm really happy to be here today. Do you are you from Afghanistan by I'm chance? I'm from Afghanistan. <laughs> Salam. <laughs> I want to be <laughs> I'm Afghan from Afghanistan. What Sorry. language do you speak? I speak Dedi. Dedi. I think I've seen that in a movie before. Oh, did you not? Yeah. yeah. Um, Geography is so bad, yo. <laughs> it's very close to South Asia. Okay. I will say, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like India here, Pakistan here, mm -hmm. then Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yeah. Okay. I became extra familiar with the Afghani community, I think, in recent years with the work I was doing. Mm -hmm. You know, I also grew up, my mother was Muslim, so we grew up around a lot of Middle Eastern folks in general, so I grew up with, with a wide range of people. Yeah. So my instincts are right the first time. That's yeah. what I've learned from this. Okay. Good job. Next one. Hi, nice Zane. to meet you. My name is Toei. Nice to meet you. Hi. Do you speak more than one language in your household? Yeah. Is your family possibly Christian? No. No? Okay. Is your family Muslim? Yeah. Uh, what about the food that you eat when you're growing up? Our food is a mixture of Middle Eastern, Indian, and Italian. Mm. Oh my god, this is so hard. You remind me of a client of mine. Mm. I think your parents at least immigrated at some point, or maybe mm. you immigrated? I was born here. You were born here? Yeah, your my parents, parents though immigrated. They immigrated, mm. okay. Is there anything on my face, hair? body that kind of gives anything away? Don't do that to me. Um, <laughs> I'll be honest, it's just my background in my work. You just happened to remind me of one of my clients. Is there like a lot of conflict where your family is yeah. from? Civil War. Civil War? Is there anything about my look, how I'm dressed? I mean, clothes-wise, like it's very American, so I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, like a shirt. Like, yeah. I can see, like, hella cats be rocking those yeah. in this part of the world, right? Uh -huh. Facial features yeah. is, like, giving me, like, he from around the Nile or something like that, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Like, African for sure. 
East African features. That's what I see in my okay. eye. Well, I think it was East African, but because my geography is so bad, I don't really know exactly what country. You got the region correct. Yeah. Okay, yay! At least so half, you can get half, right. half a point. Half at right. Least, right. Oh, I have a good question. When's your dad's birthday? Um, that's a good question. His birthday is in January. Is it January first? <laughs> yep. Okay, say that then. That actually makes a lot of sense. January first birthday. A lot of immigrants have from this part of the world that I'm thinking of, mm -hmm. have birthdays on January 1st because they didn't actually have it documented. All right, so I want you to make your guess. Ooh. I'm gonna say he's Ethiopian. I'm gonna put in the back pocket that he might be Somali. Where are you from, fam? Half Somali and Yemeni. <laughs> ah! so, I am guessing Somalia strictly because I am biased by my past client. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Can I hug you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 but I'm half Somali and then okay. half Yemeni. Okay, okay, right. okay. Yeah. So did your parents flee because of the conflict in Somalia? Yeah, the okay. civil war broke out okay. and then they did go to Kenya first and then come here. Okay, okay. Eventually. Okay. Next one. Hi. Hi. Hi, my name is Toby. Rio. He's Asian. <laughs> He's half Asian. I know the guests they want me to guess, but I'm going to make an educated <laughs> okay. guess. Okay, what guess do you think they want you to do? I Maybe. think they want to say the general thing that you have some kind of Asian background. Mm -hmm. I think that's inaccurate. What kind of food do you eat growing up? I guess American food. Um, well, you grew up here in Washington State? No, I grew up in Minnesota. Minnesota? Yeah, Minnesota. Do you want to tell me a little bit about your relationship with your parents, if you're comfortable? Yeah, so my mom and I immigrated to the United States when I was young. Okay. What do your parents do for a living? My mom works at Walmart. Okay. My stepdad works at Costco. Really? My dad works at Costco. Are you black? No. <laughs> <laughs> did you happen to practice Islam prior to coming to the United States? Yes, my mom did. I'm going to make a wild guess. I think I'm wrong on this. Okay. I think you're at least a part Afghani. I could be wrong about that. By your face, I can tell I'm wrong about that. <laughs> Maybe Chinese, but I'm guessing Korean because Koreans are a lot taller. I feel like some of this shit is like, she even say it is so PC, right? Like, it's like, ah, oh, now you Asian, bro. Uh, <laughs> what's your favorite dish? Uh, Mi goreng. Mi goreng. I feel like I've heard this before somewhere. All right, that sounds like it's Chinese. Did you just say mi goreng? Yeah. <laughs> Indonesian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so his mom is Indonesian. Mi goreng is my favorite noodle from Indonesia. The fried egg on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With a little bit sweet knows, soy sauce. She knows. She knows. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Chinese. Indonesia. God. I should, listen, I just spent three weeks in Bali. I should have known this, but I'm American and I was not eating the cultural food when I was there. What's the correct answer? Indonesian. Oh my God! <laughs> and more specifically, Japanese. Oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> I didn't get Japanese. They say usually it's the eyes or also kind of my the name. The eyes is the most racist thing to call <laughs> my mom. My you. mom has made jokes in the past where she thought, I was a Japanese baby when she, <laughs> because of my eyes. She would contribute it to her eating a lot of Japanese food. God her damn. Pregnancy. Okay. Yeah. Word. I'm not too good at this, guys. This is bad. Hello. I'm Naya. Oh, you got an accent? Yes. Oh, where's that accent I'm from? I'm from Australia. Oh, nice. Maybe some degree of Egyptian. I could be wrong. What's your favorite food growing up? It's a lot of paripu. It's very spicy. There's lots of coconut. I mean, I'm looking at you, you brown skin. I'ma just say, it makes me feel a little Indian, you know what I'm saying? Maybe Pakistani, I'm not completely sure. If I had to guess, maybe somewhere in India. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll say Tibet. Are you Tibetan? From Sri Lanka. That's yeah! what I was <laughs> I'm Sri Lankan. You're Sri Lankan! <laughs> She's Sri Lankan. I feel like there's a lot of Sri Lankan people in Thailand too. I'm from Thailand, by yeah, the way. Yeah. I feel like the food and stuff is kind of similar because in Thailand yeah. we also use a lot of Yeah, coconut. no, yeah, that's why I was oh trying to hint to you. I was like, coconut! Oh. You have an accent. Yeah. I just <laughs> picked up on that. I'm Australian. Am I okay? <laughs> um, so that's yeah. a popular um, immigration route for Sri Lankans. Yes. A lot of them end up in Australia. Yes. Yeah. Specifically Melbourne. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, well. All right, what's your name, sir? Uh, I don't think I can give you that information. That might give it away. So I'll say, you call me B. I can call you B? B. Like your pants. Thank you, I appreciate it. <gasps> Those are cool. I have a guess. Should I guess already? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking Cameroon. Okay, and why do you think Cameroon? I may or may not have dated a guy who's from Cameroon. 
<laughs> yeah, there's just similarities in the way you dress. So tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do? I work um, in tech. That explain why he wears Burberry? No. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever spent time in Europe at all? I have. That's, I think, where the dress style comes from. You dress very European in a good way. I'm guessing he's from somewhere. West Africa, I feel like West Africans, they're really on their kids hard about like, you know, being in like certain positions and he works in tech, looking at his stance and everything like that. People from certain parts of the world stand like this. He didn't want to tell me his whole name either, which is like very telling. It's like, I go by Kel, but like, if I say my name is Kel, like Nigerians could be like, oh, is your name Kaleche? i would be like, nah, brother. They, they got like very distinct names and it's very easy. What is your favorite fruit growing up? There's a dish called jellof rice. A what? Jellof rice. Be some peas, carrots in there at times. What country makes the best jollof rice? <laughs> what country do you think? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, my friend, my friend. Um... What country makes the better jollof rice? I would say Nigeria makes the best. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna guess he's from Nigeria. Uh, because they funk over their jollof, bro. <laughs> Between Ghana and Nigeria, they funk over heavy. Are you from Nigeria? I am from Nigeria. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! My me. name is Baba. B -B Baba? Oh, oh yeah, that definitely would have been the way. I think you're from Cameroon, that's my final guess. Okay, I'm Nigerian. So I got it. <laughs> Based on my initial biases, if you will, of how you ended up in Europe, there's a few countries in Africa where that was a really common way to mm -hmm. immigrate. Mm -hmm. um, Cameroon is one of them. Nigeria is also one of them. I just guess Cameroon for yeah. completely arbitrary reasons. <laughs> I give it to my Nigerians, you know what I'm saying? I get confused for Nigerian a lot, you feel me? Quick question. Yeah. Um, in your opinion, who makes the best jello fries? Oh. Nigerians or Guineans? <laughs> and you have to answer this question. And on next episode, <laughs> I'm not answering that question. Very nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you, Lord. All right. Hi, my name is Toby. Toby Abdul, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name again? Abdul. Abdul. Yeah, you got it. You just say the answer. He's Muslim. You sound like you have a little bit of an accent. I do. So I'm getting British. Oh. Are you born and raised in America? I was born in America. I moved back to my country when I was three, and then back into America when I was 13. Well, can you take off your hat for me? Uh, take it off for me? Yeah, yeah, just take it off real quick. All right, I'm just trying to see the flow. Like, okay, so the hair, right, on the head says, like, kind of black, but then the arms, it says Arab, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no cap, it says Arab. The beard kind of says Arab, Middle Eastern. Are your parents from a Muslim country? From a Muslim town. From a Muslim town. In a country. Though. In a country, okay, so see, that rules out Saudi Arabia right there. You can't be Saudi Arabian, because that's a Muslim country, you feel me? I don't think it's Africa. I think it's more like, can, at least, can you like tell me Ooh. what's the first? <laughs> oh, you almost had it. I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> Did I just say it? Kenda. <laughs> Kenda. Wow, he really wants you to get this one. Oh my god. I think you're Pakistani. It's the name, it's the fact that you ended up, I believe, at some point in the UK. A lot of Pakistanis end up scattering in different parts. UK is one of them, and then other respective parts of Europe. My guess is Pakistan. I don't know where you got this UK thing from. You're really what like, is your accent? Can I give it away? Yeah. Yes, please. I'm Kenyan. Kenyan! <laughs> it was Kenya. <laughs> so my guess is going to be from Pakistan. I'm Kenyan. You're Kenyan? It's hard. Yeah. What? If you got that. <laughs> what? I would have never thought that. That's crazy. OK, yeah, you got me, bro. Yeah. I think he's Kenyan. Are you right? You're correct. Yay! You're right. <laughs> I got some Kenyan homies. They don't look nothing like you. I don't think I was talking about my dad is half Indian, half Kenyan, and my mom That's is full not Kenyan. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm mad about that though. It's Are you mad at him because he doesn't look Kenyan? Or? Nah, because I mean, like, I don't want to like homogenize the whole people and be like, oh, this is exactly. Yeah. I mean, besides my Nigerian back here, <laughs> like, he's not getting away from that shit. You know what I mean? I appreciate it though, boss. Okay. Very nice to meet right, you, nice man. Nice to meet you too, man. Okay. Get your center mark. Show of hands, who did Nikki guess correct? Oh, raise him up high. Okay, take a look. Oh man, start off strong. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did, really strong. Start off too strong. Three, yay! Who did Kellen guess correctly? Yeah, you can give me a little half. Was there another little? Like yeah, There's yeah. Little. I got like half of him for sure. You got half, quarter, you quarter. got like yeah, one and three close. quarters. I got one and three quarters. Out of, <laughs> listen man, out of six with no information, it's not that bad. I came into this expecting to learn a lot, which I did. I think for me, I've learned that I tie ethnicity a lot to immigration paths, which I actually didn't know I did that until 
I was asking questions for this video, so it was great. Hey, my name is Kaylin. I'm a producer at Cut. If you like these videos, then you should check out these games. They're in stores now. It's awkward, it's fun. I actually started playing this when I first started dating my boyfriend and I learned a lot about him, so. Oh my gosh, my ankle's cracked. Did you hear that? 